Hey, today we're gonna to be talking about the five most versatile pieces of gear that I take with me when I go backpacking. Some of these might surprise you. One of them is a brand new product to the Outdoor Riders lineup, so you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to that. In fact, that's the last one I'm gonna talk about today. All of these are extremely versatile, and if you're an ultralight backpacker, you know that word is extremely important. If you're tuning into the channel for the first time, we're Outdoor Vitals, I'm the founder, Jason Whitaker, and on this channel, we talk about living ultralight, which means getting you on the trail more comfortably and more confidently. If you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribed and click that bell notification, and let's dive in to versatile pieces of backpacking gear. All right, so number one on the list is going to be tarps. This is our ultralight backpacking tarp we have had this in stock in the past and then we decided to do some changes on it it went out of stock for a little bit but this is going to be back on our website really really soon so if you're interested in tarps you should go check it out but why is this on my list today it's because they're extremely extremely versatile i use this on a hammock setup i use it on the ground setup i use it for extra rain protection sometimes when i need that mainly you can get super creative with how you pitch tarps right there's a million different ways that you can pitch tarps we're going to be making a video about this pretty soon uh, likely when we go out in the winter season and pitch this a couple different directions. We got some really fun stuff playing around with tarps here soon. Tarps are extremely versatile. If you don't have one, you should deeply consider it because there's gonna be certain adventures you go on where a tarp is going to be customizable enough for that specific situation. All right, the next on the list actually has been riding with me every single day in my pocket. This is the Gerber Dime. I actually have never backpacked with this, so this is a bad review, but I have used it a lot lately and it will be coming on the trail with me. Maybe not every single trip. Besides the fact that it's two and a half ounces, it is exceptional. You've got a pair of pliers right there, which work very well. You've got scissors for uh, trimming my mustache out on the trail, it works extremely well. Uh, I've got screwdrivers right here. I've got a nail file on that one right here. This is what I've been using like every day in the office. This is a box cutter for all my mails. This is just your typical knife. But then look at this. Like not only do we have pretty much every single thing you could want to use, but you've also got a can opener right here and this little hidden one. Yeah, this one's special. This is a pair of tweezers. I could have absolutely used these the two different times that I have gotten ticks on me when I've been out backpacking. Yeah, it's not fun to just realize that you've got a tick on you and having something a little bit more surgical like this is extremely, extremely helpful. This thing is absolutely coming with me. That's the Gerber Dime and it is probably my most versatile tool that I take on the trail. All right, my next two, and it's basically one, but I'm gonna count them as two, is inside my first aid kit. You've probably seen videos where I talk about this thing. I've got things like, uh, my toothbrush i only use that in case of emergencies that's why it's in my emergency pack you know but no really the things that i think are extremely versatile and i'm always always glad to have on the trail are from will please cord and duct tape both of these things always ride in my pack whether it's hanging up a food bag or fixing something on the trail maybe it's putting another guy line on a tarp or a tent whatever it is I love to have a little bit of extra cord with me on the trail. This stuff is extremely, extremely light. I just found this at a local hardware store, but it's just, it's perfect. I do have some thicker cords sometimes I'll use. This is more common um, for guy outlines and things. Find yourself a nice little sleek cord like that, and you're gonna be very happy. The other thing is always take your lighter and wrap it in duct tape. I use this uh, medically when I do surgery and stuff on the trail. I, I use it like a Band-Aid. I use it to fix gear. I, use, I mean, there's just different things that I will use duct tape for. I do take tenacious tape for really fixing gear, but I always like to have both of these things with me on the trail. They're extremely versatile and that's number three on my list. All right, so number four on my list is the Airy sleeping bag. Now, I don't use this every single time I go out, but when I use it, I'm always incredibly impressed with the functionality of it, the versatility of it. I've used this hammock camping. I've used this on the ground. I've used it to make a double sleeping bag when I take my wife out backpacking. I use it in my travel trailer, my camp trailer, and the lighter weight temperature rating ones, I leave in my car all the time. Whether it's uh, maybe I'm staying at a friend's house and they just don't have enough blankets, I can go grab that. Or whether it's an emergency situation, I always find uses for the airy sleeping bag. It's extremely, extremely versatile. Uh, this is the bag that we say is a five in one sleeping bag. Let's see if I can name them all on camera here. So you got a sleeping bag, you've got a blanket, you've got a double sleeping bag, you've got a hammock under quilt, and you've got, uh, what am I missing? I've got a hammock pod. Thank you, cameraman. 
uh, you know our products better than I do. Hammock pod is the other one. In fact, this was kind of the reason we built the mummy pods in the first place is we started using this, but extremely versatile piece. You've got cordage on both ends. You've got baffles on all ends. You can open it all the way up. You can zip two together. You've got tie points uh, down the sides, these little webbing loops and different things. Lots of functionality in the airy. It's definitely the most versatile sleeping bag that I have taken with me on the trail. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do with this? <laughs> Tuck it in. Last but not least, our gaiters, neck buffs, whatever you want to call them. These things on my head, and yes, these are Outdoor Vitals versions using new yarn wool. These things are exceptional, and we're super excited because they just hit the website this week. So go check these things out. Anyways, let's talk about these. What? Are, what? Why are these things versatile? Well, I use them in the summer. I use them in the winter. I use them uh, when I'm at the gym. I, I use them all the time. There's just so many functions for these. Let's break these down because you're probably wondering what the heck I'm wearing here and talk about them individually. So this one right here, we'll talk about this one first. This is what we're calling the, the neck gaiter. You can see this one has been cut on a diagonal here. Typically, I'm gonna be using these things to one, keep the sun off me, two, uh, wind burn or things like that when you're out in the winter. Uh, this can make a world of difference. I was just up on the mountain the other day and uh, this thing saved my life because it was blowing at like 40 miles an hour, just sheets of ice and this tiny little bit of fabric just made all the world and the all the difference in the world for my rosy little cheeks here. Bug protection, I took these to Alaska when we needed bug protection. We've just used them all around. There's, you can use these things all season long. So what we've done as well to add some different versatility to this, is you can see this end is cut on an angle. So that's for two reasons. One, if you're wearing it this way, you get extra coverage down your back. The other thing though is, check this out. This is the most common way that people are using this uh, additional features. You see how that goes up the back of my head like that? When I put my hat back on, it locks this into place so this doesn't fall down my face all the time. It's a tiny little change, but it makes this extremely versatile. It's gonna work well around your neck, it's gonna work well to cover up your cheeks, keep this all safe, keep it bugs off you, whatever it is. It's just an extremely useful piece. And yes, we're making this with uh, new yarn merino wool, so it's extremely soft. It's got all the beautiful properties of wool, such as comfort next to skin, the loft, uh, the odor resistancy uh, from, from being antibacterial. There's just all these different benefits of using wool. It's an amazing and amazing piece. That's the gator portion. This is the bandana. In fact, this one's a sample. Both of these are, are slightly probably different than our finished ones. So colors, things like that. You don't wanna check the website to get the final versions of these. All right, so this one is the bandana. This one's a little bit smaller than that one or the mini gator, whatever we end up calling this thing. Gonna be a little bit longer in the front. It's gonna have a little bit more stretch, especially on the top side here. So what the heck is this thing for? This one is designed for a couple reasons in particular. First off, on the front here, there are two layers of wool, giving you additional protection per se on the front half of this. If you're using this as a face mask, it's gonna give you double layer protection like this. If you're using it how I often use it, it's going to give you better ability to absorb sweat and things like that um, coming off of your head and dissipate that. There's a few different uses for this. Obviously too, you can always pull this down around your neck, have it help you cover you know, your neck from sun, different things like that. Tons of versa, <clears throat> I can't even say the word versa, the very versatile, <laughs> the very versatile, say that word 10 times fast. Uh, anyways, um, this is the mini or the bandana. This is the full gator, and we think these things are extremely versatile, and I often take them on the trail with me, like a lot, like a lot, a lot. All right, so these two gators are now live on the website. If you're interested in these, go click the link below. Uh, we're gonna be running some kind of a special or deal the week that we launch these, so if you're watching this almost live, if you're one of those loyal subscribers, which we appreciate, make sure to click the link, go check out what we're doing, and get a hold of these right now. So that's the five most versatile products that I take with me backpacking. If you got value in this, make sure you subscribe, and if you wanna see any of these other products. We'll try to drop some links in the description below. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you on the next one.